Hello, my name is Madison Baith and I'm a senior at Mazama High School. I work diligently to maintain a 4.0 GPA and am ranked at the top of my class. While in school, I have thoroughly enjoyed being a part of as many clubs and activities as I possibly could. I'm currently the senior class secretary and have been a part of student leadership for most of my high school career. I'm also the National Honor Society president and the host of secretary where I've gone to nationals the past two years in medical spelling. I've been a part of the varsity swim team and have been captain for two years. Lastly, I'm a part of FBLA and STEMINIM. Now I will continue to read my essay answering the question of what economic and social impacts does a cooperative business model have on a community? Many people in society do not put much thought into how the things they buy impact a community. Most just consider the price, the quality, and the brand, and not particularly what store they are buying these products at. However, when shopping at stores that are our cooperative business, they will not only benefit themselves, but their community as a whole. Local businesses, especially cooperative businesses, benefit the atmosphere of a community and promote a development in local economy. A sense of community is what brings a town together and a cooperative business puts the community first above all and establishes stability for future generations. Cooperative businesses are owned and operated by the people who use and purchase the products of the business. Their members are usually community members who work for the business. The members of a cooperative business have a sense of empowerment as they feel like they are part of something much larger than themselves, leading them to become leaders throughout their community. These members know the values of their community and instill these into their business, creating a unique experience for community members unlike large corporate companies. Cooperative businesses strive to make connections in the community and give back in as many ways as they can. The scholarship is an exa excellent example of the willingness of cooperative business to help improve their community as in many ways as they can. The scholarship is a testament to local businesses helping better the future of local students, which in return will create a well-rounded community members in the future. On an economic front, cooperative businesses challenge the standard industry, which is primarily dominated by large corporate companies. They provide opposition within large corporations and in order to have a well-functioning economy, businesses must have competition. Cooperative businesses also help costs go down in communities while still maintaining high quality products. Cooperative businesses ensure equality in management as each member only receives one vote regarding business decisions. When large companies allow each person to have multiple votes depending on the amount of shares they have purchased. This promotes a well-represented business that represents a diverse community, not a business that is decided by the very wealthy. Cooperative businesses help develop the economy of a community by adding value. They provide jobs to help the unemployment in a town. People develop a sense of pride in their job and this spreads throughout the community. Klamath Falls should be tremendously grateful to have a cooperative business such as Grange Co-op, who takes into account the needs of its community members. The model that a cooperative business have prioritizes local well-being over anything else. This feeling of importance customers are given instills a strong belief that every com community member is valued. Cooperative businesses are a huge asset to the community, and I am grateful for the opportunity Grange Co-op has given me for simply applying for this scholarship. Thank you in advance for your consideration.